as much as I love the Cybertruck guys, I don't understand what people are doing to them. They're they're kind of wrecking them, or are they? Maybe they're not. Maybe you disagree with me. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. I've made so many videos about the Cybertruck because I just think it's a cool vehicle, and a lot of people hate it. But uh, I personally love it. But some people are just turning it into a I don't know, like a wacky billboard or something making all kinds of bizarre modifications, snow tracks, making it look like a tank, um, putting these insane looking wraps on them, which some of them are great, by the way. Some of the wraps look sensational. I'm just looking at them thinking, wow, I didn't even know you could get colors that cool. Changing color, colors that change depending on the light, those look amazing. Some of the wraps though, I mean, there's bright pinks and some truly, truly weird colors out there. Then there, of course, are the Cybertrucks that Tesla put wraps on to make them look like a Ford F-150 and a Toyota Tundra. Those are pretty funny. I thought that was a good idea. But the most recent wrap that I just saw, it's, it's not really a wrap. It's just the rear tailgate has some sort of crazy design on the back of it. It's got slam suspension on these huge wheels. They look like maybe 30 inch wheels. Maybe they're gold. They stick right out. Surely can't be legal, right? Anyway, I don't know, guys. I personally probably wouldn't do a wrap on my Cybertruck. I would do some mods on it though. Absolutely would do some mods. One, I want a tow. So I need to make sure it has a tow bar, right? That's it. That's a must for me. That's a pretty logical decision, I think. Two, Tesla have a, a really good value accessory for the Cybertruck, which is you can put some boxes in the tray and they're about 150 bucks. I think it's I think it's a really good deal. I made a video recent, not that long ago, showing what they are and providing a link to Tesla's, that option on the Tesla uh, accessory website. There's heaps of Cybertruck accessories out now. Even though there's very few number of Cybertrucks that have been delivered so far. Tesla didn't even report the number of Cybertrucks that delivered in the first quarter of this year as part of its earnings report this year. They didn't even bother. They're like, ah, oh, there hasn't been that many. We won't even report on them. That said, Tesla have been ramping up production of the Cybertruck significantly. I've seen some images recently with just massive numbers. Like I'm talking the car park at Giga Texas, seemingly entirely full of Cybertrucks. I mean, unless this is some Photoshopped imagery, but I don't think it is. It does seem like Tesla is ramping production of the Cybertruck up significantly as they should because Tesla do have more than 2 million pre-orders. That's not a clickbait nonsense story. That's actually true. You can verify that information on the Tesla uh, Cybertruck order tracker website where it has people's order numbers and you can actually see that, yeah, there's been more than 2 million pre-orders. Now, I don't think people want to wait five, six, seven years to get a Cybertruck. I think by that time happens, you probably would have canceled your pre-order. So Tesla's trying to ramp up production as quickly as possible. That said, I mean, really, even if they were building 250,000 a year, it's still going to take them, what, how many years? eight years to make two million Cybertrucks. So yeah, it's gonna be a long wait if you order a Cybertruck now. But a lot of people might, they might um, cancel their orders. They might buy something else. They might buy a Ford electric truck. Hang on a minute, Ford have actually paused the development of their new truck, so forget about that. Maybe they'll buy a General Motors Silverado electric truck. They're pretty good. I have a video about the new Silverado electric truck, which has 450 miles of range, staggering range, 360 kilowatt charging, which is amazing. And um, General Motors just reduced the price before it's even gone on sale by 10,000 US dollars. Guys, let me know which of these Cybertrucks you like, or if you hate the Cybertruck, or if you like any of these on in there, just let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.